So you just picked up yourself a brand new iPhone. Like me, I got the 13 Pro Max. Now I have a little incident where I cracked my previous screen protector. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the Spigen Easy Fit. Now this is the privacy edition. So you'll go ahead and get a little more privacy from your left and right angles. So you don't have those peeping toms. You get two rather than one, which is nice. So if any accidents do happen, you do have a backup. So with the privacy, you do get 9H Harding with real glass and it does have a oleophobic coating if I said that correctly and of course you get that easy fit and installation so let's see how easy it is all right so inside the packaging you get your gallium nitrate advertisement for the power supply here you get your light nice little installation pack that has the lens cleaners and all those sticky things you got your installation guide showing you how to use this contraption looks very easy and then you get yourself a nice little squeegee to work out all those little bubbles. Now the cool thing with this, you do get two, like I said, but you get a, a easy installation contraption for each protector here. You don't have to worry about keeping track of it. You have the, you know, protectors inside the contraptions. So you just store it away. So it seems very easy and self-explanatory. I do notice with having these privacy screen protectors so having it off the clarity is definitely a, a lot better without it it's still clear and and vibrant with the privacy screen protectors but it definitely hinders it because you're adding like a tint to it that's just something you're gonna have to deal with but i do like having the privacy screens especially now that i can do that with not having a curved display like samsung does so we got the screen all cleaned up we're gonna go ahead and get some of these fingerprints off all right so i'm gonna keep this in hand so that way as soon as i'm about to put this down i'll make sure i have lint off of it as you see there is a tab here that says back you're gonna go ahead and pull this now, when I pull this off, I'm gonna have it face down so it doesn't catch any lint in the air. So I got that face down. I'm gonna stickies the remaining dust off real quick. Looks clear, looks clear, looks clear. Put it on, easy fit. So it should line up and snap into place. Now, next step is to put some pressure right here on the middle part where you see this sticker. So right here, and you're just gonna go ahead and rub it. Now, once you're done rubbing, you'll go ahead and peel this sticker now off. So that way we can remove the housing. So now that this is off, we're gonna remove this guy. And we're pretty much there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish this off with squeegeeing out the bubbles. Now for the most part, they should be all squeegeed out, but if you do have some remaining bubbles, just let them sit for 24 hours and don't put a case on. So we're gonna peel this off. And here we are with the screen protector. 